And I want you to remember this in terms of any investment, not just property investment. The golden rule is to minimize risk and maximize profits. Now we are not investing with emotions. We have to be very practical and we have to be very objective. You see, uh, in property, most people I come across and when they invest, they feel as if they are going to be the one living in it. They may complain that it is not near to the schools of their children or maybe uh, it's the amenities are not so near. Um, I have got investors from Singapore and they go to Philippines and they say that the units are too small. And my first answer to all our investors is that you are investing. And when you are investing, there's only one criteria. And the criteria is your investment must have the lowest possible risk and the opportunity to make as much profit for you as possible so that your money is working hard for you. There are two kinds of uh, capabilities investing in property where it can make money for you. Number one, your property can generate rental yield whereby consistently your tenants are paying you an income. And rental yield is one of the consistency about property investment. Now we have got investors who also like to invest in property and hope for huge capital appreciation. I do not know what do you prefer. Do you like rental yield or do you like capital appreciation? Or do you like both? Whatever you like, what I want you to understand is that if you have got good rental yield, the longer you wait, you are assured that your property, your prices will increase. So this brings us to this part whereby understanding that if you borrow money from the bank, how it can help you to become very successful and very wealthy. If you have a situation where your monthly amortization, your monthly installment that you receive from your tenant is more than your installment that you're paying to the bank, like this figure here, what you receive in terms of rental, assuming it's 5,000, and you're paying only 3,000 to the bank as an installment, typically you are getting $2,000 passive income every month. Is that good? Or is that great? Is that a situation that you desire? Assuming another scenario whereby you have a rental of 5000 and you're paying 5000 to the bank, is that profitable to you? Now in our training, most of our investors say that there is no extra cash flow, so there is no profits. Here I am to tell you, you do not know how profitable it is. Because you only paid 20% to the property. And the longer you hold this scenario, the longer you have, the better it is. Because while you are sleeping, people, your tenant is helping you to own the property. Just assuming I extend this scenario for 10, 15, 20 years, depending on how long you took the loan, it will come a time whereby this property will be fully owned by you. And therefore, your tenant is making you rich even while you are sleeping or your tenant is making you rich when they are sleeping in your unit. <laughs> okay, so this is the best scenario. There are certain situations whereby your rental is even lower than your uh, installment to the bank, but yet at the same time, it is also profitable for you to go into it. We will not discuss that in detail today. If you are interested, click on the link below, come attend our training. of return on equity versus return on investment. ROE refers to return on equity. ROI refers to return on investment. Assuming you buy a property in Singapore for $1 million, you need to put a minimum of 20% uh, percent down payment and you need to have a cash of 200000 if 
the property price rise 10%, effectively you make 100,000 because your property will be worth 1.1 million. That is return on investment. If you are to use this 100,000 profit divide by the equity that you put in which is 200,000 your return on equity will be 50%. Is this a good scenario? Or is the scenario whereby you put this $200,000 into your bank and get probably about a 1% or 1.2% which will be better? I think you will agree with me that putting the money and investing it gives you a much higher return. Then the question is why people do not invest in property? Because of fear. In our training, we understand that people do not invest in property primarily because of four reasons. Number one reason, they say they have got no money. Number two, they do not have the extensive network so that they could not buy and profit upon purchase. Number three, they do not have the knowledge. Number four, they do not have the right mindset. I would like you to know today that in my experience, I see many people who suddenly become wealthy either through inheritance or strike lottery or for whatever reason, they straight away have got money. And I can assure you, these are the people who will not become wealthy because they did not earn it. They will squander the wealth that they got hold of easily. So my key is for you to learn and to come into our training and to be part of our network and grow with us. In my personal experience, I see many investors, they buy and invest in property and they hope and they pray and they wish three years from now, they make money. Today, I'm telling you, you don't have to do that. Investing should be easy. Investing should be idiot proof. Investing should be so simple that you can sleep at night knowing that you will definitely make money. It is not a question of whether you make money. You must make money. And that is true blue investment. True blue investing.